Hi everybody, um, today I am doing a shopping haul. I'm gonna show you guys what I got, but before I show you guys what I got, I'm going to show you what I'm getting rid of on my Poshmark. Today's video is brought to you by Poshmark. Um, I have this problem where I buy things without trying them on in the dressing room because I hate dressing rooms and then I bring them home and I lose the receipts or I go beyond the date where I could return them and so then I have them. But it's okay because I have Poshmark and Poshmark is a place where you can sell clothes that are in your closet. So I have a closet and my closet is called None of the Plug. You could download the app at the link below and you can actually check out my closet. You can check out my closet. I am selling a lot of really cute stuff and like I've been trying to buy some stuff on here because they have like Adidas on here, they have Louis Vuitton, uh, Nike, like I probably need to chill on the shopping but when I can't fall asleep at night I just go on Poshmark and I'm like what do they have here? If you guys want to see what I have in my closet, download the app, check it out and I'm going to show you guys what I have because a lot of this stuff still has tags on it. Like I'm feeling very irresponsible right now and I almost don't want to tell you guys about it but it is what it is. So um, yeah. Comment your closet when you guys download the app because I go, I want to see what you guys have when I can't fall asleep at night because late night shopping is my new bad habit. So let me show you guys what I'm selling in my closet. This number right here, I've worn one time. Very, very cute. It has like this little crop jacket thing and the bralette that goes, bral, bralette that goes with it. It's obviously like, you know, faux Gucci print or whatever, but super, super cute. Um, I have the problem where, you know, if I take a few pictures and something, I can't really wear it again, so I'm getting rid of this one. I am selling these, I guess, would you call these like chaps? There's no way in hell my thick thighs are gonna fit in this, so gotta get rid of it. Still has the tags on, it's on my Poshmark. This corduroy jumper thing, tags on, super cute in my store. <clears throat> oh, another thing is I send Let of the Plug sticker packs with every single one of my orders, so they got a little lemon touch in them. This skirt, super, super cute. It's like velour, high-waisted. Doesn't have the tag on it, but I've never actually worn it. I just haven't found like a way to wear it yet that I liked, and I was like, you know what? It shouldn't sit in there any longer. I'm getting rid of it. This is really cute. It's like the Tiffany blue color cotton crop. It's like kind of sporty. That's in my store. I'm getting rid of this. How cute is this? This long jumper that is just like a little bit too big on me, but I probably should have tried it on in the store and figured it out. Still has the tags on it. I'm also getting rid of this because returning stuff on Amazon is really not fun. So it's got like shorts underneath, long dress right here, super cute. This is the back, no. Even if it is the back, I would say where it is the front. This, never been worn, just a little bit too big on me. You got like a tunic sweater right here with the sleeves over here. I don't really have a lot of reasons to wear hot clothing in LA, so I'm getting rid of this because I haven't worn it yet. Please, 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 please make fun of me right now because I legitimately bought two of like the exact same thing from two different places. Both I didn't try on, both don't fit me right, and both have tags on with it. If you like any of these things, check out my store, make an offer, you know, like, I might, I might have posted it for a certain price, but you don't have to, like, that's the cool thing about Poshmark is that you can make offers and you can, like, kind of bargain with people. Let me show you what I did to replenish my closet since I'm getting rid of all these things that I really never wore. So I think that part of my brand has become the fact that I don't know how to wear makeup and asking for help with makeup, trying to get better at doing makeup, I went on Twitter, I asked you guys, I said, what do I need from Sephora? Like, what are my must-haves? Please, 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 just tell me. And then I literally walked into Sephora with my, I'm just looking around for this bad, like crazy person. So then I walk into Sephora with my Twitter in hand, or my phone in hand, and I'm on Twitter looking at the comments. I was like, okay, what is this? I need this. What is modern renaissance? What is blah, blah, blah? And I will have to say that I took a lot of your suggestions because I spent $700 at Sephora. Of course, I needed a new beauty blender. The one that was stuck in my, has since been thrown away, but I got glitter in my makeup bag, like literally just spilled all inside. So every time I try to use my beauty blender, my face has glitter on it and I'm not down. So new beauty blender, there's like a soap you're supposed to wash it with apparently, didn't know that. A uh, foundation brush, because I know how much you guys love telling me that you're not supposed to put on foundation or um, moist, tinted moisturizer with your fingers. You know what? It's faster and it works. I just realized I'm lazy. I like a shortcut. But we're gonna try this Flawless Airbrush Pro Sephora 
foundation brush. Tatcha Silk Cream for under her makeup. Facial oil. I realized as I've been trying to do makeup that like, you think someone's makeup looks good because their skin looks good and the lighting is good. It has a lot less to do with the makeup than it does with, I mean, it does obviously the makeup matters, but like if your skin's dry and flaky, like it's not gonna look good and that's what was happening to me a lot of the time. So hopefully this helps me out. This Fenty Beauty matchstick. I think this, hopefully, I don't know. A concealer and a contour. All right, I'm excited to have like a liquid contour and not a powder one for once. Um, skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum from Unicorn Essence. High brow pencil. Creamy highlight pencil. I feel like I need this because I always, when I try to do my under the eyebrow, I make a whole mess. <gasps> Finally, I have eyeshadow palettes. So I got the Modern Renaissance, which there's so many recommendations that I get this one and Naked Urban Decay. I feel like I've been hearing about this one since the beginning of time, or at least since I've been aware of Sephora and makeup. Okay, what else do I have here? Oh, I got a foundation stick. How many foundations do I need? I don't know, but we're just testing them all out, seeing which ones I like. I'm never gonna remember how to use this stuff. Ooh, a pencil for my waterline, smarty pants, and I got a liquid Sephora eyeliner, high precision. You would think someone who took like seven years of art class would be really good at doing her eyeliner. No, that shit is hard. Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. I've been getting complaints that I don't wear highlighter from family, friends, commenters, and it's like blasphemy. So hopefully that problem is solved now. Ooh, and I love those points. I got this uh, eyeshadow primer with my Sephora points. Hell yeah. Okay. So that was my makeup shopping haul. Thank you guys for all your recommendations. I hope this saves me and every time you see me look prettier and prettier on the gram, just know it's thanks to you guys. Okay, another place I went shopping with my sister is Forever 21. And some Forever 21s in my opinion suck, like depending on where the store is placed or like what kind of audience they're targeting, like I may or may not like the clothing there. And honestly with Forever 21, it is the sort of thing where you like, might wash it once and then never be able to wear it again. So I try not to get anything that is too expensive. I mean, nothing there is like extremely expensive, but I'm not the kind of person that likes paying $30 for a shirt, especially if I can only wear it once. So I tried to get some basic things and some things that I could just like use over and over again. Let me show you what tops I got. I have a big need for tops because you know, if you're making thumbnails, you can't just recycle the same five tops over again. So. Let's like, let's get some shirts. Um, so this is really cute. I got this. This kind of shirt is awesome because it'll squeeze your tits together even if you can't wear a bra because it's like kind of pressing inwards. And then I always like the shoulder showing. Sexy. Ooh, okay. This is me trying to be creative and like original, but I love collared shirts and like dressing androgynous, but I don't do it so much anymore. And I wanna do, I wanna wear this, cause it has the collar, it has Hello Kitty on it. And then I wanna cut it like right below my boob where it's kind of like rolling up a little and you're like, ooh, am I gonna see titty? Am I not gonna see titty? That's what I wanna do to this shirt. So it's not complete yet. And even if you have it, you probably don't have to say what it's baby. I cut mine. I call these Emily pants, but I got a pair of Emily pants. And let's see how much are these. I got like 20 bucks or something, but this is the best for when you're on your period, for when it's just like super hot outside, and just, I like it, I'm down. Fuck pants, fuck real pants. Ooh, I saw a cute picture of this girl wearing heels with socks underneath, and I really like that look, and I forgot about it, so I just got these cute little pink socks to try and do that with it. Got some white ones too. Ooh, I got this fun belt. I don't know what, like, what I'm gonna do with it, but it reminds me of middle school and it has like these little rhinestone things on them and I'm kind of obsessed, so. And like clear matches with everything, right? Yeah. This cut I also really like because it's like covers your cleavage, but it makes your, it makes my boobs look bigger, but it covers my cleavage. So it's sexy, but it's like not so overly sexual, at least in my opinion. I don't know. I feel like I don't remember what the line of overly sexual is anymore. It's all just for all. Fuck it, who cares? Take your clothes off. Who needs clothes? Wow, it's 11.30 at night. I honestly feel like I drank six cups of coffee an hour ago. When am I ever gonna sleep? I've been really into yellow ever since my roller skating shoe, as I'm sure you can tell, so I've just been like grabbing yellow things everywhere I go. This basic ass top, literally, is 
$8.90 from Forever 21. Love it. I would probably tie it up right here because I'm super thought. Okay. I got one of these for my new vanity. Shout out to Forever 21 for having like everything you could ever want. And look at this pink sparkly belt. I literally owned nothing pink up until the age of like 25 probably. And now I'm a psycho about it, as you can tell. So really exciting. My cousin's getting married and it's a Mexican Armenian wedding in an Armenian church and Armenians are very showy. They're very like extravagant, you know, and I have to go to a church with Adam and go to this wedding and I got this dress and it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. I bought two dresses, but then I took the other one back because this one's a bit hotter. It's like perfect because the edges kind of line your silhouette and make it sexy, but then it's also very covered up. It has a lot of like skin covered, but then the back is open. So it's like sexy in a very church appropriate, wedding appropriate way. So I'm gonna wear black to the wedding. It's super cute. I'm obsessed with it. I don't care. Oh, my camera's getting hot. Please don't die on me. I'm almost done. Ooh, okay. And not only are there weddings, there are bridal showers. So my, the bridal shower is at my uncle's house. So it's a little bit more casual. I'm getting, ugh, I'm gonna wear this like olive military green dress. It's a little bit short, but not if I wear it with like cardigan or like a jean jacket and some heels that are kind of like cutesy. You could really like be a hoe or not be a full hoe. It's up to you but it's really cute. You can't tell, but I swear it is. Okay, I'll show you when I take the pictures and I go through the wedding. Okay, so that was my shopping haul. I truly don't understand the shopping haul appeal on YouTube. Like I didn't know they were a thing until a few months ago and people were like, yeah, you should do them. And you guys have been commenting that you want hauls and you wanna know what I use. And that is crazy to me, but if you think this is entertaining, by all means, I will do it for you. So yeah, I threw a bunch of stuff out. Well, not threw it out. I'm gonna give it away on my closet. And I bought a bunch of stuff and hopefully I use it all because being wasteful is so, so sad. So um, don't forget if you wanna get any of the stuff in my closet, download Poshmark, get the link in the description and like show me your closet. I wanna see your stuff. And I really, really would recommend that you like go through your closet and do what I did and get rid of stuff and put it out because it feels really good. It's like getting your house cleaned. It's like, it's like washing. It's like taking a shower. It's a like cleansing, I promise. So look at this cute number right here. Look at that. Anyways, I think I've driven the point home. I've brand deal with Poshmark and you should download their app and you should look at my closet and you should show me yours. So if you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it. If you like hauls, if you're into this sort of thing, if you wanna know what I buy, let me know. I will keep doing it. If not, that's okay, I could just bring the stuff home, throw it out of the bags, and call it a day like usual. But this was kind of fun, because I just like hearing myself talk. So yeah, I love you all. Thanks for watching my video.